Hey everyone, Pastor Joe here. Have you noticed the gas prices lately? My goodness. Here's what we are paying uh, in California. I would say on the average $5.50. I heard of a freeway where there's a stretch, a long stretch between gas stations. It is as high as $7. I haven't seen that. So I want to talk about gas prices. But before I do that, get a copy of my free book, Bounce Back with Faith. Just go to my bio. It will link you to my website. You can download a digital copy or you can order a hard copy. I will pay for postage and send it to you. It's absolutely free. Come on, come on. You can do it. Well, why do I want to talk about gas prices? What does that have to do with ministry, me being a preacher or, um, or an ordained minister? Um, well, we live in this world. We may not be of this world. But before I get into it, type in in your comments, what are you paying for gas? How much are you paying for gas? It gives perspective, us perspective across the country as to what's really, really happening. So I think that would be really, really cool for us to understand um, um, sort of the wide range of gas prices. Well, there are two main reasons. There's quite a few reasons um, that are affecting why the uh, gas prices are high. I'm a former CEO. I uh, got a business degree and I uh, enjoy and watch uh, markets and understand finance to a certain degree. I'm not an accountant, um, but I do find it fascinating. But as I said earlier, you know, we do live uh, in this world and, um, you know, we may be working in the kingdom and um, doing the Lord's work, which is my most favorite thing to do. Um, we do take a lot into consideration um, when it comes to decisions um, because of our finance and in particular um, gas prices. So I was listening to a commentary on the business channel and one um, a commentator said, I mean, this is actually kind of basic business, um, but you just don't hear about it a lot. And that is the, that the demand is high, right? There are more people in their cars, more people driving. And it, and I think that's a really, really good thing. That means the economy is moving, although it doesn't feel good right now with everything being so expensive, the demand is high. And I'm like, wow, we don't talk about that a lot, which is a positive thing. Number two is uh, we have lowered the production here in the United States when it comes to um, being able to rely uh, on our own oil and um and as a result, um, we were relying on uh, importing it and it's affecting the gas prices. Uh, that's not a good thing. Now, I'm uh, not trying to get into a political debate, but the public pressure will somehow um, affect our leaders uh, to do something so that the prices will um, eventually get adjusted. So we will get through this. Um, there has been, a, this is kind of a cyclical. It just so um, happens. This is the highest it's ever been. It, it does feel painful, but we will, we'll get through to this. Um, God bless you and let me know what you're paying for gas.